Okay, now we will use the inverse of a matrix to solve the system. So before we used either elimination or substitution to solve for x and y um, to satisfy the linear system. <clears throat> now we will use the inverse. So I have 2x plus y is equal to 7 and x minus 3y also equal to 7. We need to find an x and a y that makes both of these simultaneously true. We can find a lot of different x's and y's <coughs> to make this one true. We can find different x's and y's to make this one true. But we need to find an x and a y that make both of them true. All right, that's a little more difficult. All right, now first we write the augmented, I mean the coefficient matrix. That would be 2, 1, 1, negative 3. All right. 2, 1, 1, negative 3. Now we find the inverse. <clears throat> Remember how we found the inverse. That is 1 over 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 minus 1. Negative 6 minus 1 gives us negative 7. Everyone remembers that. That's 1 over the determinant. Negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7. Now remember, the 2 and the negative 3 essentially switch places, and the 1 and the 1, we negate those. So we turn them negative. Had they already been negative, we would have uh, turned them into positives. <clears throat> okay, so now we need to find the inverse. So if our final inverse is going to be negative 1 7 times negative 3, we use scalar multiplication as positive 3 7 Negative times negative as positive 1 7 Negative 1 7 times negative 1, positive 1 7 And negative 1, I'm sorry, negative 1 7 times 2 is negative 2 7 now, what do we need to do? So this is our inverse. And we multiply this by our solution vector. One thing we, we remember is a 2 by 2 multiplied by 2 by 1. We can do it, and the result is a 2 by 1 matrix. So we go first row, first column, first row, second column. <clears throat> All right. 3 7 times 7 is what? 3. All right, first row, first column. 3 plus 1 7 times 7 is 1. So that's 3 plus 1. And right here, 1 7 times 7 is 1. Negative 2 7 times 7 is, what is that, negative 2. So our answer would give us 4 and a negative 1. Let's see, is that true? 2 times 4 is 8. Y, 8 minus 1 is 7. That is 4. If we put x in for 4, minus 3 times negative 1. 4 minus a negative 3 is equal to 7. So we have that um, to be our solution. x is equal to 4. y is equal to negative 1.